Coming up on Torrance today, the heat wave continues and so does the city's effort to keep residents cool. A facility dedicated to memory care celebrates its grand opening with a ribbon cutting ceremony and UCLA teams up with a local church for a much needed summer blood drive. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Kirk Lines. It's 4 p.m. on Monday, July 17th. I hope your week is off to a great start. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. The heat wave continues across Southern California this week, with many areas still seeing triple digits. It's not quite that hot here in Torrance, with highs hovering around the 80s all week, but the city has multiple cooling centers providing relief for those who need it. All six Torrance libraries, the Bartlett Senior Citizen Center, and the D. Hardison Sports Center located at Wilson Park are open during regular hours. Health experts say remember to drink plenty of fluids, stay out of the sun, check up on relatives and neighbors, and never leave children or pets unattended in a vehicle. Silverado Memory Care Community celebrated the grand opening of its Torrance location with a ribbon cutting ceremony. We're so excited to have both the Lamita and Torrance Chambers here with us. We're not traditional assisted living, we're all memory care, um, and we are a clinical model of care, so we're sort of a hybrid between an assisted living and a skilled nursing facilities. I myself am a native of Torrance, and so I've lived here my whole life, and so it's very exciting to me. Um, I've been working with this population for many, many years, and Silverado being here in the area helps us be able to have more services, better services for people with memory impairment diseases. There is life after a dementia diagnosis and we're here to prove that. Nurses are on site 24-7 at the facility, which features an array of services such as physical, occupational and speech therapy. Residents have access to specialists including psychiatrists and neurologists and all lab work is done in-house at the facility. Silverado is located at 2455 Pacific Coast Highway for more information, visit Silverado.com. Blood donations are crucial year-round, but especially important during the summer. UCLA Health co-hosted a blood drive recently at Bread of Life Church, hoping to get more donations. I've been doing this for almost a decade now and do it every eight weeks. Luckily in my life, I haven't had to experience too many major traumas, but I know of people who have. and. Blood and platelet loss is very severe and could cost someone their lives. And if I can help them keep their lives or be a part of what helps them keep their lives, it's the least I can do. It's a very small amount of your time and, um, you know, it actually is, makes you feel good about being healthy and giving back. We know that so many families and students are traveling literally all around the world. So when people are gone, then that's literally the absence of people that could give blood uh, to help those in need. It's not too bad, it's almost like any fear that we face, fear of flying, fear of public speaking, fear of just spiders, you know, we face that fear and we see that there's a greater good beyond the fear. If you missed this drive, there's another one on Monday, July 25th at the SoCal Regional Occupational Center located at 2300 Crenshaw Boulevard. To donate blood, you must be at least 17 years old, weigh at least 110 pounds, and be in good health. Qualified donors can give every eight weeks. That's about six times per year. For more information, go to ucedonor.com. Summer break also means planning for the fall for many students, and El Camino College is now accepting online applications for its upcoming semester. New students, those returning after two or more terms, and those transferring from another college must fill them out. The fall semester officially begins on Saturday, August 26th. For more information, visit elcamino.edu. Torrance in Action, a series of meetings featuring our city leaders, continues this week in District 2. Councilmember Bridget Lewis and City Manager Aram Shaparian 
Invite community members to join them at 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, July 18th at Isabel Henderson Library, located at 4805 Emerald Street. Participants can get the latest updates on projects taking place throughout the city. The gathering also gives attendees an opportunity to ask questions and provide feedback. Questions for the month of July are currently up on the city's community survey called Shaping Torrance Together. Answers help guide city leaders when planning for the future. This month's questions include, if you attended a Torrance Summer Nights free concert, how satisfied were you with the event? And what is your top concern if you're considering taking public transportation? There are only five questions every month, and it just takes a minute or two to complete. To get started, go to torrentsca.gov and click on Learn More when the Shaping Torrance Together banner comes up. Still ahead, it's Music Monday, and the Torrance Summer Night Series provides some cool jazz on a warm evening when we come back in 60 seconds. Jason, let's go see your room. What do you think? We kept it a little spare, so you can decorate it how you like. At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this Music Monday, the Torrance Summer Night Series continued over the weekend with a performance from the Big Butter Jazz Band. Don't forget your promise to me. I have bought a home and ring and everything for Margie. We're playing New Orleans traditional jazz, so trad jazz, New Orleans jazz, Dixieland jazz, hot jazz. It goes by a lot of names, but it's mainly early jazz from say 1900s to about 1930s. We've got a full six piece lineup tonight and yeah, we're just ready to go. We're just kicking back and just relaxing and enjoying the, the weather and the music. And looking at the community here, it's a big crowd here. The swing dancers, amazing. I was just a little bit inland earlier today. I was roasting. So come out to the city of Torrance in the afternoon enjoy the weather, and just enjoy our community. There's something new happening every weekend this summer, all the way through Sunday, September 3rd. Most events take place at the Wilson Clark Amphitheater. For more information, go to torrentsca.gov slash cultural services. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrentstoday at torrentca.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a good day.